it is not applied it's activated so that fountain of youth is not going to be hiding in a jar or a syringe it's inside of you if we understand your biology we can start age reversing today i'm tackling one of the buzziest topics in the beauty industry now exosomes they're being marketed as the next level in anti-aging, even better than Botox. The miracle that promises to regrow your hair, restore your skin to its teenage glory. But here's the question, is it real science or just another billion dollar hype machine? If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Nadia Van Shakrun, your guide to better skin and naturally. I founded Functional Beauty Principles. They teach you how to get that beauty from the inside out and the outside in. I also created the beautydoctrine.com where I have guides, resources, courses, a curation of the cleanest products possible where I vet every single product. In short, they're all free of carcinogens, hormonal disruptors, fragrance, all this stuff is going to aid you, not de-age you. So for those that just want recommendations, go straight to thebeautydoctrine.com. If you want to learn about my opinion on exosomes, hang around till the end. So what are exosomes in the first place? They are little tiny vesicles, essentially tiny bubbles released by our own cells. They serve as messengers carrying instructions like our RNA, proteins, growth factors from one cell to another. In the lab, scientists have discovered that exosomes from stem cells, like bone marrow, early studies have shown that they can reduce inflammation, increase or speed up wound healing, even stimulate follicle hair growth. That all sounds exciting, right? But let's get to the truth of it all. As a beauty industry insider for 30 years, nearly 30 years, I can tell you that every beauty, corporate office, skincare, makeup, fragrance, whatever it is, are always patiently waiting or digging aggressively for the newest trend. What is this new ingredient that's gonna be the miracle fixer that we can jump on, that we can incorporate in our treatments or moisturizers, whatever it is. I'm extremely familiar with how things are spun in the beauty industry. Let's look at problems that nobody talks about. Number one, source matters. Exosomes are not one size fits all. Their effect depends on the source. Where are they coming from in the first place? Are they from bone marrow or adipose tissue, which is fat, umbilical cord stem cells? They each carry different molecular cargo, meaning inconsistent results. Number two, the donor's age and health, are they even checked? Common sense tells us the older or the unhealthier the donor is, the less effective the exosomes. Why would I want to take exosomes for somebody that's less healthy than I am or older than I am? Aged stem cells release weaker signals and lesser regenerative effect. If your exosomes are from a donor that's already aged or inflamed, what exactly are you putting in your skin? Problem number three is production challenge. Harvesting and scaling exosomes is complex and expensive. And that's why many creams that are promising you to deliver exosomes might not even have an effective or a meaningful dose in them to begin with. Number four is safety concerns. And that's the most important topic to me at least. When it comes to exosomes, it's the biggest red flag. Exosomes have not been cleared or approved by the FDA for cosmetic use. In fact, the FDA has been issuing several public safety notices since 2019 warning consumers about unapproved exosome therapies, citing risks like infections and immune reactions. Imagine having parts of another human being injected into you that you have no clue about. I know you might be asking this, if the FDA has not approved exosomes for use in cosmetics, why are they abundantly available everywhere? Truth is, most of what you see in use in med spas or skincare formulations is operating in a regulatory gray zone. I'm gonna read this. In 2019, the FDA issued a public warning stating that exosome therapies, whether injected, infused, or applied topically are unapproved biologics with unknown safety profiles and they cautioned about risks like infections and immune reactions, which I mentioned before. So how are brands selling them? Categories that don't require as rigorous oversight as drugs or sunscreen. 
Staying with the gray zone theme, some brands use lab-derived exosomes or plant-derived ones, which are not real exosomes. These compounds can contain antioxidant-like compounds, so it's the same discussion as like vegan collagen. There is no such thing as vegan collagen. However, if you Google it, there'll be hundreds on the market. So lab-derived exosomes or plant-derived ones cannot integrate into the human cell and render the results that that limited science had proven human exosomes to do. For example, the Inky List exosome hydroglow complex claims three million plant-derived exosomes. And then we have Peach and Lily's mini protein exosome bioactive ampule. What a name. This focuses on texture and barrier support with exosome technology. And then we have Medicube's one day exosome shot, which markets itself as a micro needling in a bottle. And then we have Dr. Barbara Sturm's exosomatic serum. It never ends. The market has been flooded with these exosome creams. I can just keep going, but I'll stop here. Bottom line, whether lab derived or plant derived, these types of exosomes that are making it into creams cannot regenerate human cells, period. At best, they provide antioxidant or signaling support. At worst, their expensive distractions sold under the pretense of the future of anti-aging. So you have two choices, either lab-derived or plant-derived that don't really deliver, or you can go with the real exosomes, which carry real risks like carrying viruses, bacteria, or other harmful components. Unfortunately, we live in a world where there is hardly any regulation when it comes to cosmetics, and yet many of us are just slathering all these products and injecting our bodies just with hope. Hope is not enough. We need the science, but more importantly, safety data. So in the instance of exosomes, the risks way outweigh the benefits. And even if we circle back to the benefits, they are experimental at best. Now, let's get to the functional beauty perspective, aka common sense. Here's what I want you to remember. Your body is equipped with plenty of stem cells and exosomes, so it's on you to activate them to know what foods, what lifestyle habits help you release more stem cells into circulation and by the way i just published a stem cell video so please watch that if you're interested in exosomes because there's nothing better than your own because the problem is not that you don't have exosomes the problem is that your natural repair systems might be compromised or slowed down so let's reactivate them so instead of chasing the latest expensive procedure let's ask how can we actually repair and revive our own stem cells and start reversing that aging naturally from the inside out and trust me that can be done step number one feed your cells i love some omega-3 fatty acids the more i research in the field of longevity age reversal stem cells you name it omega-3 keeps coming up high quality omega-3 fatty acids help reduce inflammation keep cell membranes including those stem cells you'll find my topic on the beautydoctrine.com support your skin structure from the inside instead of going all these procedures that are literally burning your skin like lasers or all these injections that are introducing foreign substances into your body how about we just rebuild the collagen from the inside out and it can be done so easily i've talked so much about this in various videos look up collagen banking video i'll link it down below but there are many things like red light therapy consuming a high quality collagen precursors to creating new collagen like silica and copper vitamin c and so on there are many modalities that you can apply to just regenerate the beautiful thing about the human body is that yes we're breaking down we're aging but we can repair and rebuild at the same time even better and start reversing if we just adopt the right lifestyle habits including of course diet and supplements and whatever you do optimize that sleep i wish this is my biggest wish in the world is that I would just put my head on the pillow and fall asleep easily. And that's the hardest thing for me. My brain is always firing up. And so I work so hard to get that deep sleep. And if you get there, you are lucky. If you're someone that's able to fall asleep easily and stay asleep and get those sleep cycles right, you have no idea how much you are equipped with the biggest repair mechanism in the world, better than exosomes or stem cell injections or anything like that. Because 
in deep sleep, your body is able to just go to work and repair, regenerate. Your stem cells are at their highest level of activity when you are in deep sleep. Whatever it takes, if it means you're taking adaptogens, you're taking magnesium at bedtime, there are many things that you can do to optimize that beauty sleep and I have a video dedicated just for that as well. And instead of chasing questionably sourced exosomes, how about investing in high quality, clean skincare that's free of toxins, hormone disruptors, carcinogens, all these things that everyone almost is introducing to their bodies via expensive skincare that's just overrated. Here's the bottom line. Exosomes are fascinating. The science is there, a little bit of science, but the beauty industry is already twisting it and stretching it. We don't have long-term data on safety. Sourcing is inconsistent. And the promises sound like a deja vu, meaning another miracle in a syringe or a jar. At The Beauty Doctrine, I'll always steer you towards solutions that support your natural repair mechanisms. Your body is so intelligent and we have so many resources available to us that don't cost as much as these in-office procedures or these fancy ingredients. You truly don't need to chase after the trends. All you need is to understand your biology and what your body needs to be at its most optimal state. And that without question reflects in your skin. I'll leave you with this. Real rejuvenation doesn't come from somebody else's bone marrow. It comes from awakening your own repair mechanisms. If you've enjoyed this video, if you're looking forward to more, please subscribe, like, and share. Support this channel by purchasing a membership. It's a tiny little amount that can support us every single month so that we can continue to do the research and bring you unbiased advice. I do not accept sponsorships for brands. I am here to be your guide to better skin naturally without intervention. Until the next video, be well, be safe, be beautiful, take care.